The curtsy squat form is really important to understand before you do this exercise. The curtsy squat is going to target our lower body. We're gonna get some thigh work in. We're gonna be getting out a part of our glutes, but it is also really easy to perform incorrectly and put ourselves at risk of injury. So I want you to watch really closely. Now you might've seen the curtsy squat performed before looking something like this, where we have one foot, go back behind us, we take a big step back and we're doing something like this giant curtsy, right? That's not exactly what we wanna do and here's why. When we do this, notice where my knee is pointing and where my toes are pointing. They are definitely not aligned, putting our knee at risk of injury. So what I want you to do instead for this exercise is keep the stance pretty close to where you're not stepping this foot way back behind you, but instead you're just taking a step back, but keeping it relatively close to the rest of your body. Now in this position, we wanna keep our knee aligned as much as possible with our toes, which may, if this is not comfortable for you, just performing it like so, may be more comfortable for you to actually angle your toes in slightly toward the midline of your body. And then when you step back, your knee is aligned a little bit better with your toes. So it is a step diagonally backward, lowering down and then stepping forward. Squeeze through your glutes here as you step forward, down and back. Your arms, I, don't, I just do this a lot, but <laughs> your arms can be here, they can be here. When you perfect the form, you can start to add weight, but I really wanna make sure before you add any weight to this exercise that you understand how to perform it properly. There go my arms again. All right, cool.